The Austrian Grand Prix sees the return of the F1 Sprint on Saturday, and that means a tweak to the usual format of the race weekend, with only one practice session instead of the usual three. So the teams and drivers had just one hour to get their cars dialed into the Red Bull Ring before qualifying on Friday afternoon. And it was Lewis Hamilton who did the early running. The Mercedes man comes into this weekend off the back of consecutive podium finishes in the last two Grand Prix and was first out of the pits and onto the track once the session got going. He was looking quick too in the revised W14 car, sitting at the top of the timesheets in the early stages after running on the hard tyre, in an encouraging start for the Silver Arrows. The last time Ferrari tasted victory in Formula One was at this race last year, when Charles Leclerc won, with Carlos Sainz on course for P2 until his engine caught fire, ending his day early. The Scuderia have brought upgrades for their car to Austria and were fast again this time around, especially after bolting on the soft tyres, with first Leclerc and then Sainz jumping ahead of Hamilton to lead the order, coming into the final few minutes of the hour. But as has become customary this year, Red Bull weren't going to let Ferrari and Mercedes have it their way, and Max Verstappen's race engineer was on the radio telling him to take his time before embarking on his final run. I'm happy to go for a third slow lap, Max. We've got the time. Let's go for a third slow lap. And on this, one of the shortest tracks on the calendar, that strategy paid off instantly when Verstappen shot to the top of the timesheets in the dying moments of the session, leaping ahead of the Ferraris by two and a half tenths of a second. And it was an even more impressive time, considering the Dutchman was on the medium tyres. Lando Norris had a more tricky session, with McLaren having brought a big upgrade for their car this weekend, and it appeared the team might have been having some teething troubles with the new package as Norris managed just 17 laps in the hour and didn't run at all on the soft tyre, which puts him on the back foot with no more practice time this weekend. So Verstappen finished the session top of the charts, followed by Sainz, then Leclerc. Hamilton was fourth ahead of Sergio Perez in the second Red Bull, with Lance Stroll in sixth for Aston Martin, and Kevin Magnussen seventh for Haas. Fernando Alonso was P8, with George Russell and Joe Guan Yu rounding out the top 10. It was P11 for Alex Albon, with Oscar Piastri 12th in the lead McLaren, ahead of Nico Hülkenberg and Valtteri Bottas. Yuki Tsunoda was P15, followed by his Alpha Tauri teammate Nick de Vries, then Logan Sargent for Williams. Then it was the two Alpines of Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly, with Norris bottom of the order.